So we have Padmini with us from Bengaluru. She scored six eighty, All India rank eight one two. First attempt. Uh, she looks very studious to all of you, as you can see. So, if you are wondering what are we going to get out of this interview, she looks very intelligent. She should have scored even more. Let us go and watch some other video. She has some interesting uh, things to share with all of you. First of all, Padmini, uh, you also play piano. Yes, sir. Uh, you told us before the interview you actually give piano exam before need exam. Yeah. So you are a super proficient piano player. Uh, we can literally have uh, one day a video in which you are playing piano if the students can watch it uh, when they don't feel like studying. Uh, yes. Sir. Uh -huh. I okay. No, I was just uh, theoretically I was saying I am not going to ask you to do that. Okay, good. Uh, now uh, Padmini, tell me this thing. Uh, you finally scored 680. Uh, did you ever score this much in mock tests? Only towards the end, sir. My initial and, uh, wasn't this high. And you were telling us uh, uh, you scored a, a, a very low score in uh, mock test towards the end of class 11. How much did you score? It was in the 400s range, around 410, as far as I can remember. So what did you conclude? What was going wrong in your 11th preparation? Something was terribly wrong, obviously, right? Yes, I think there were two major mistakes. One, I wasn't doing proper question practice. Most of the day, I used to just spend reading theory after theory from book after book and never used to uh, focus on question practice. And the second biggest blunder was I used to never analyze my mock tests. I used to give a test, look at the score and move on. So I think those were the two biggest blunders in my 11th preparation, which I tried to rectify in 12th. So, uh... Who guided you in this process of uh, fixing these two problems? Sir, a major factor was my parents and teachers. The parent and teachers, good. So you largely studied online for uh, uh, all, all the two years, right? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, you joined our Inspire batch, which became Target batch later. Uh, you practice a lot of questions from there? Yes, sir. And you joined at the end of 11th when all this uh, uh, problem practice uh, uh, thing was happening. Yes, sir. So how many questions did you practice approximately? Around 15,000. Around 15,000 in one year, right? Uh, largely in class 12th only. Yes, sir. That is good. That is good. You also wrote a mock test? Yes, sir. Okay. So you were saying you practice a lot of questions. You were also doing analysis. It seems you have a very good handwriting. Your handwriting seems to be very good. Mistake notebook. Can you show it to students? I will put it on speaker view. And uh, after that, I have also gotten promise from Nandini, uh, sorry, Padmini, that uh, she's going to share pictures of one of the mistake notebooks. She, how many mistake notebooks did you have? Yes, sir, two. Two. So one, she is, uh, one is handy. She will share the pictures. I will put, on, uh, put it on a Google Drive and share with all of you. That will give you an idea of what kind of analysis someone does who's scoring 680. So please show it to uh, Padmini. Uh, so uh, what is it uh, what have you captured can you uh, can you uh, make it come closer yes sir. okay it is slightly blurred hopefully it's going to be okay so what are you capturing uh, so this is basically the chemistry it includes my mistakes and the points which I frequently forget in exams so that I can refer it before going to the final exam. So you're cap uh, capturing, so for example, in chemistry, what you showed us, uh, which, which chapter was this? Uh, sir, it's mixed, but I think this page has predominantly electrochemistry. Electrochemistry. So you were making mistakes in specific questions. So you won't write down the question, uh, right? Uh, you would just write the reference that in the test conducted on that date, uh, this question, uh, and you would have question paper separately, right? Yes, sir. Excellent. So you said uh, you started practicing a lot of questions and then you were doing this detailed uh, mock test analysis. You were uh, also sharing you were not very good in physics in class 11. So uh, what did you do in class uh, 12 to improve your physics? Uh, so I started a lot of question practice. So whatever concepts I used to learn on a particular day, the same thing I used to, the, the same concepts, the questions I used to do it in the evening when I had time. How and many questions? Time, 
How many questions? Uh, sir, it varies depending on the time I have because I had school also. So it used to go around 50 questions per day in uh, each subject. Two, if I had a little more time, 70 questions per day in each mm -hmm. subject. Very good. Now, one more question. It is generally difficult to manage uh, need preparation with uh, board exams. Uh, what would be your uh, important advice, uh, recommendation with respect to managing the board? Sir, in my opinion, the syllabus is same. It's just the way the questions are asked and the way the answers are given that varies. So when the syllabus is same, if you want to really do separate board preparation, after each chapter is done, you can just take the theoretical type questions and write down the answers. That way your concepts would get reinforced and also you would finish your board preparation. Because so what you're saying is uh, simple. Uh, uh, NEET exam is NCRT based. So uh, you do the theory from there. After that, practice subjective question, NCRT back exercise and objective questions for NEET preparation. That's it. But uh, uh, is it also important that uh, you should not refer too many uh, books and guides? Otherwise, uh, you, you're not left with time. Yes, sir, because the information is the same, irrespective of how many books you read it from. And time is limited. And time is limited. So there's no point going through multiple books to read the same thing over and over. So Padmini, final question from you, uh, 680. Uh, you are going to be the first doctor in your family? Uh, in my immediate family, yes. In your immediate family, yes. And that too from a very big college. Which college are you planning to join? Uh, sir, my targets are Ames, Mangalgiri and uh, BNC. So which one first? Ames Mangalgiri, obviously you'll get, you'll probably open it. Uh, BMC, uh, so BMC is the first preference or Ames Mangalgiri is the first preference? Uh, sir, Ames Mangalgiri. Okay, uh, we probably have an opener of Ames Mangalgiri with us. Fantastic, uh, thank you so much Padmini. Uh, wonderful talking to you. Uh, we will take up your offer of playing piano on uh, this channel. Uh, please set it up. I'm sure uh, there must be acoustics and audio and all those things that need to be. You have a huge piano at home and you're always playing uh, throughout the day. Neighbors don't Not complain. Day, sir, but actually it's a big stress breaker during meat preparation also. Something to, you know, calm yourself and for a change of mind. Can we see that piano right now? It's, uh, it would be difficult for you. Yes, sir, it'll be difficult. It's in the room. You have to, you have to take your laptop or uh, phone somewhere. Fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, Padmini, uh, 680 guys, rank 812, uh, some pretty good advice uh, uh, for all of you. You should watch this video again, especially those who are preparing for NEET along with their uh, board exams. And for those who did not do that well in class 11, she was scoring 410 at the end of class 11, but ended up scoring 680. That's a big jump in one year. Uh, just have confidence, keep practicing questions and Capture your mistakes which you are doing in your mock test and uh, you'll be okay. And we have a promise from Padmini. Uh, today itself, she will share this pictures of the mistake notebook and we will put it up for all of you. All right, students. Thank you so much, Padmini, and uh, congratulations again.